um, using ways to use this um, foam roller. This one is um, from Trigger Point, and if you notice, it has you know different grooves and so forth. So it's pretty much like a deep tissue massage. This has been great to me. I mean, I can't stress enough how awesome this is. You know, I do get mas a massage, you know, pretty frequently, but in between massages, you know, this is really what I use to help loosen up my muscles, um, loosen up any knots that you may have, mainly after um, a run for me, um, you know, specifically after a long run. I know I've been laying in the bed at nighttime and <laughs> just, you know, feel my legs, even my knee. I feel my knee aching because I have developed runner's knees over the years. Um, and I just get up and foam roll my quad and my IT band. And the next morning I wake up and I'm fine. And I promise you, this thing works wonders. I mean, I'm not you know, selling for a trigger point or anything. It doesn't really matter which one you have. <laughs> but so I'll show you a couple of ways to um, use this foam roller. Um, for one, you can use it on your, on your tushy. You can use it on your, on your glutes. So what you need to do is go ahead and actually sit on the foam roller and you're gonna cross one leg, you, um, your ankle over your knee and you are going to um, the leg that's up, that's the leg that you're going to put the pressure on and kind of roll over on that glute and just roll. You want to also be careful, you know, that you're kind of, you have a good balance and you're going to just roll. Roll, roll, roll. Sometimes you will find a tender spot and once you find that spot, you sit on that spot and put all your body weight and body pressure on that spot. If you're using this as a warm up, then you know you, it's good to just kind of roll it on out, roll it, roll it, roll it, roll it, because you're really just warming up. But you know, if you use this as a deep tissue trigger point massage, nice and slow roll, nice slow roll, nice slow roll. When you find that spot that's tender, sit on it for a few seconds, and then um, roll to another spot. And you know you want to do that for a while so you know that's your glutes and of course you know you want to do the opposite leg and you can you get an arm workout from that and a core workout as well um, so that's how you do your glutes um, the next muscle that I'll do I'll do my hamstring and um, you want to lay the leg that you're you're um, warming up or loosening up on the uh, on the foam roller and you want to put your entire body weight on it. And just like with your glutes, you know, you, you cross your legs and that will help to put a little bit more pressure to give you a little bit more of a deeper massage, um, if you will. And just the same as on your glutes, you just roll and roll. And once you find that spot, sometimes it's usually in the belly of your hamstring, you just sit on it and hold it, hold it, hold it, hold it. For a few seconds and again like i said if you're using it for warm-up um, you just roll 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 for a few seconds take a break and roll again um let's see this back a little bit the next thing i the muscle that i use it for is for my calves and my calves get really tight as you probably can imagine when you're running a lot your you know your my calves get really tight and so I usually start in the center of my calf and if this is your first time foam rolling you get it on that one leg and it's pretty much the same thing if you've never foam rolled before you're gonna feel it in your calves um, and again you know just kind of roll it and you want to roll it all the way down roll it if you're warming up, you know, just go ahead and get a few rolls. But if you're using it as a deep tissue um, massage or to loosen up knots, um, then you want to put your body pressure on it. Roll slowly, easily back. And you find like right there, I have a spot right there. And that's really tender. So I'm going to just let my body weight rest on it. Now, I foam roll quite a bit, and it doesn't matter if I don't say if I don't foam roll for two days, I feel it every time I do it, right? But um, I, you know, I'm able to take a little bit more pressure, so my body weight just, you know, like that is not enough. 
cross your legs. If you can handle that and you know, you've been foam rolling for a while, as soon as I put one leg across the other, I feel the pressure a little bit, um, a little bit more. So, whoa, you get on here and you just roll. Like I said, it's, it's gonna be an arm workout. It's gonna be a core workout as well. You wanna make sure you have proper form. You wanna make sure that both arms are, you know, stable on the ground. Lift your butt up and just roll. You find that spot, you sit on it. And sometimes I just I rub the, the um, my, my muscle across it, you know, like that. But mainly this is what I, holy shit, um, what I do and find that tender spot and just, um, whew, and just hold it. So we have your glutes, we have your hamstring, we have your quad, I mean, we have your calves. Now we're gonna to go to the IT band. Everybody loves the IT band. Um, it's probably the most tender spot for me and for probably most people to, um, to, to roll on the foam roller. Uh, but if you've never done this before, um, let's see, let me get in this position. Yep, there we go. Okay. So again, you can start it at the top of your, your hip um, or you can start it like in the middle of your leg. So you want to be in this position with your body weight completely on the foam roller and you're gonna do the same thing as you did on your hamstring and on your calves. And you're gonna you know, get this leg across just a little bit just to help with your stability and your balance and you're gonna roll, holy shit. Um, it doesn't matter how many times a week I do this, my IT band is always tight and tender and it's the same probably for most people. And again, you know, like I said, if you're warming up, you know, a few rolls just to kind of loosen up and warm it up. But you know, if you're doing like a deep tissue massage, um, you want to roll, roll, roll. You're going to find usually in the middle, I call it in the belly of, of your IT band and in your um, hamstring and your quads. You find that spot, you hold it. And just roll until you find that tender spot and you just hold. Woo! And roll it up a little more and I'm kind of right in the center of it and you just hold it. And then for people with knee issues, you know, you want to get it as close as you possibly can to your, holy crap, to your knees. And you roll, you get that spot, and you hold for a few seconds, you release it, you hold for a few seconds. Um, excuse my facial expression, but <laughs> I really feel like I'm getting a deep tissue massage, and it doesn't matter how frequently I do this, it still feels the same. Um, so, you know, there we go. So it's just the same as you can either roll, roll, roll. But um, don't, don't let up, you know, when you feel... You know, you ease up a little bit, but don't give up because it's, I mean, it, it, it does hurt. Um, but I'm telling you, it is worth it. It is worth it if you have tight muscles and knots in your muscles, it is worth it. Um, the next one that I want to do is the quads. Now, as a runner, I've always, and as a runner who's had issues with her knees, as always taught, like, and I had surgery on my knee, actually released my IT band. <laughs> um, I've always thought if you had issues with your knees, it's always usually coming from your hamstring. But I've learned that in most cases, it's coming from your quads. And once I've discovered that, that's kind of what has helped to relieve a lot of my knee pain and my um, knee issues. Now, back in the day when I ran, I was a sprinter in college. Now I'm trying to run longer distance. So, you know, it's a, it's a lot more pounding and a lot longer running, a lot more miles on these legs, trying to convert from a sprinter to a long distance runner, which is not easy, you all. Um, so, for the quad, you want to lay in this position with whatever leg you're gonna work um, directly on the foam roller. The opposite leg is going to be just, you know, kind of up towards your stomach, just like so. And again, you want to make sure that you have um, proper um, stability. And usually I start kind of at the top of my hips and in this position, and I just roll it. And while I'm rolling just a little bit, I am going to feel the knots and the tender spots. So then I, you know, once I've warmed it up a little bit, and that's it. If I've ran, then I don't have to roll, 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 because my legs are already warm. 
But if, if um, I'm using it as a little bit as a warm up, then you know, you roll, 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 just to kind of loosen it up and you feel those tender spots. And once you do, you just kind of lay on it. You just roll, roll, roll. Again, for people with knee injuries, you want to get it down um, to your quads, you know, right here, closest to your um, to your knees. So, if I get in this position, get this bad boy um, again in the center, or you can start at the top and then you just roll. You find that spot, you hold it. Get a few little rolls. Find that spot, you hold it. Find that spot, you hold it. And you know, use it as a arm workout again, and as you know, core. Make sure your your core is engaged. Make sure you have um, good stable um, balance when you go to do these, and you just roll it on out. So those are kind of mainly um, the must or the the areas that I use this for. Um, whew, for my quads, for my hamstrings, for my IT band. Um, and for for my calves, so um, yeah, that's that's pretty much it. It's like I said, if you are an athlete or you're active, and you know if you have knee injuries and you just don't know, you know doctors are telling you, you know stop running, stop exercising, you're getting old, you know try the.